All right, we're standing here outside of a manufacturing shop about to shoot the first hashtag make cool shit TV episode. These guys are a machine shop. We just rolled up in South Austin by the airport. A lot of noise out here. We're gonna go inside, start getting things set up and start talking about the episode and how we're gonna arrange things and then start shooting. We'll keep you guys posted. Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. Probably why I never have time for the fake friends I won't be ya. Been bottom, but it's looking like they took a time out. Okay, I'm working on a Wednesday, then up again the next day. So much so is popping, man. I skip him like he leg day. You got Becca over there taking pictures of us vlogging. Just ridiculous. Cameras on cameras on cameras. Nick's got a new toy. Some Ronin stabilizer thing. Hashtag super dope. Brayden. Kyle, nice yeah, to meet you, man. You all right? Yeah. You find it okay? Yep. We came around the corner, came around the back, and it was it was all good. Yeah. Most people have to call, and they're like, "Where are you at?" It's like we're no. hidden here in the we, back. Yeah. We saw the sign. I was like, "There we go. We'll just pull down yeah. here." I'll show you the shop, man. It's it's small, but we can do some really crazy stuff in here. Yeah. No. Totally cool. Um, so you've got a couple big lathes here. Uh, you throw this down. A small two-axis Okuma lathe over there. Yep. You've got a four four-axis mill here. Yeah. Do some pretty crazy. Almost everything you see in here is titanium. Okay. And this all goes to the bottom of the ocean. Right. Uh, so these are fiber optics around the bottom of the ocean. Um, we've got two more mills over here. This one's actually a five axis machine, but the five axis, unfortunately, we had to pull it off and okay. uh, send it out for repair okay. three days before you guys got here. Yeah. I was like, man, we'll have a cool five axis part running. Uh, yeah, don't worry about it. Just showing anything is. Yeah, we've got some, uh, some cool big parts. Believe it or not, these parts go on a tank. Oh, no shit. Yeah, these parts go on a tank. Was it like a pulley cover or something like that? Yeah, part of the gear housing. So yeah. This is the assembly for if the tank were to lose power or lose uh, lose electricity, they can still manually crank the turret and shoot the gun. Nice. So it's part of that assembly. And we'll make any part from that all the way down to a really, really tiny titanium part. Yeah. The difference between these parts and anything that you'll see on your run-of-the-mill shop is the tolerance. Yeah. So it may not seem like a crazy geometry or anything wild, but the tolerance is in the tenth. Right. So if you take a piece of paper, it's 3,000. Yeah, cut it. Cut it down, yeah. down and down and down. Yep. That's the kind of tolerance you have to hold. So I'll show you in here that the machine that actually measures them. Yeah, so let's, so I, I'm thinking what we're going to do is, Nick, do you know what, what, like, shot you want to have? Do you want to set up any time lapse? Do you want to... Uh, how about for where we're gonna do the interviews? Yeah, that's something I'd like to do. So what so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do do a couple yeah a couple of interviews, um, asking you like your story and your background, then get one of the somebody else in here and maybe one of the kids asking them like why did you get started manufacturing, um, and then we'll basically do the shop tour where you just go step by step, pretend like I'm a potential customer, and then we're gonna be recording the whole thing there. Then after we're done doing the shop tour, go machine to machine, then he's going to set up and shoot footage of stuff actually made you, like be a machine and film that for like two minutes and then go so that way we can have B-roll footage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he'll cut it in as, as, we're doing, um, as we're doing the interview process, stuff like that. So it's not just you talking for two yeah. minutes. It'll show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll, yeah exactly. Okay. Um, and then we'll do... We're gonna shoot an intro outside and we'll do an outro outside, but um, the biggest question I have is where are we gonna shoot the interviews? Yeah, we could do it in the QC room in front of this ice. Yeah. Yeah, because this probably is, how's the audio out here? It's loud? Yeah. How you doing? Good, I'm Kyle. Nice to, nice to meet you. Yeah, so we could probably set up. Cause we want we want to try and have this ice behind, right, Nick? Yeah. How do we want to do this? How much distance do you need for a field of field of view? Company, cause they're already doing all, it. It takes all day. Exactly. So we literally pull the old coolant out. You know, pump all the old cooling out, get a shop back, clean that out. Yep. And then we have to run a cleaner through it for about an hour or two. Yep. And then we have to pull that out, and then we put the new cooling back. Right. In. And they do all that 
for you. So he's got clients that have like 30, 40, 50 machines, machine name. centers. And he's like, nobody ever wants to do it. It never gets done because nobody ever wants to do it. Bacteria and, builds. Yeah, there. exactly. Yeah, it'll smell like a dead animal. Yeah. So yeah, he started that and I was like, and we did all of his marketing around it and it's, uh, I don't know where it's at now, but you remember doing that, the tank serve? Yeah, yeah. We did their pitch deck and everything. I was like, this is, this is legit. Yeah, this is like legit. He can make some money doing this because I know nobody wants to do that shit. Exactly. But they do some cool shit, and we were trying when we when we started doing all their marketing for them, we were trying to capture that. Never met a female machinist in my life. Yeah, and she's been doing it for like thirty years. Wow, that's impressive. But that's where I mean, so like they're a they're a larger company than you guys, and what we're doing, what we just started doing, like couple weeks ago is we're trying to take what we do for big corporations mm -hmm. like guys that are 20 40 60 million or up to a billion and right. make it affordable for smaller shops like you to get right. the word out so that's what we're doing now so when it comes to like building sites normally we're looking at like 20 to 40 thousand but we're breaking it down to small shops where we can get it to be affordable so that way you guys can actually compete right. so I mean we could do something like that for you guys that's affordable and do marketing stuff because you're local you're 22 minutes from our office we come down here and shoot video content. I could send Nick down just to, to shoot stuff. Just to hang out? I mean, he can literally come down here for like four hours and just shoot a ton of content. And what yeah. we do is we come on site, shoot a ton of content, and then break it into micro videos and then drip it out every week. Right, right. So that we were not, you don't have to have somebody here all the time shooting yeah. it because that's just right. overhead. Well, they had told me a story one time. Was it you, Terry? They told me a story with the other guy over there that they found this big beautiful machine shop and they thought that it was going to be the answer to all their prayers and they had this giant conference room to go meet in and you know all the windows and everything and they went in there and the work they did was garbage yeah, yeah. i mean perception is reality only to a certain extent right you can have the nicest place but if you can't perform it ain't worth it come on becca you should be in the vlog i should be in the vlog i'm yeah. the vlog um <laughs> that's gonna be the the blooper. That's going to be so nice. Make it the blooper. Yeah. All right, so are we good? We're just going to go outside, shoot yeah. intro, outro. For, uh, the show. And then we'll do some content for our stuff. Yeah. All right, perfect. Braden, I appreciate it, man. Thanks yeah. for letting us in here. Definitely. Nick, what do you think in like five days? Uh, I'm hoping, roughly? Uh, I'm hoping to push it out and next Monday. I hope to go out. Next Monday. We'll sign by the road, too. If yeah, we'll stop. Yeah. yeah. So it'll be about a week, I'll shoot you the link, and then we're gonna push it out on LinkedIn and push it out through our social, and it's gonna be on our website. And we're gonna be doing a website that's uh, makecoolshittv.com, so it'll live on there. So you're the first episode, so you can be the, the, we're gonna be the, the martyr. Boy. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are gonna get the most exposure. Like I said, as soon as they see it, then it's exciting. Right. But it's like we're selling, a lot of times people don't know what they want until they see it. Yeah, and exactly. And when they see it, they're like, oh, that's awesome. Right, so you guys will be the first, and we're gonna push it hard, and. Well, we're we'll, 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 we'll link to you guys, link to your website and all that stuff, so that way, you never know. We, I'm connected with a lot of people on LinkedIn. Buyers might be like, hey, I need a machine shop. You never know, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thanks. So we just got done shooting the first episode of Make Cool Shit TV, and this is exactly why we started this project. Going to a small machine shop in South Austin that has youth in it that the biggest struggle that they have is finding the good employees and you guys will see that on the episodes and the younger employees coming into this generation and I would say the the biggest struggle um, besides finding good customers is building a strong team you know um, finding good employees that are skilled employees because in this industry no one's getting into it there's no young people that are learning it they're not going to school for it they're not and they're not pushing it hard enough in the schools you know if you go out to say more of the rural areas, they have like a Vicka club where these guys are building go-karts and working on lawnmowers and cars and things like that. Versus you come into the bigger cities, they don't have that. They're pushing uh, a computer science program or something like that, there's nothing wrong with it, but this has become a dying trade. This was exactly why we did this project and why we're gonna to continue to do this project because he's got guys in there that, are, that have been in this industry for 20 years that start out with nothing. He's got guys that have been doing it for a year and a half that got in young and didn't know anything and they love it. And this is exactly what we wanted to show the youth and show people that manufacturing is cool and you can make cool stuff. 
doing it and you can have a long career, you can be in it for 20, 30, 40, 50 years, you can make a ton of money, you don't have the debt between the student loans, and so if you don't know what you're doing with your career, this is exactly what you do. You get into something, you test it out and see if you like it, and if you like it, then you start going to school once, you're, once you've got some interest, and then you can make some money while you're going to school. Or you can have somebody like the owner of this shop teach you whatever he knows about it, and then you're just learning on-the-job training, and you're getting paid to do it. So this is exactly why we did it. We've got, I think, at least three or four show episodes booked right now for the next couple of weeks. We're gonna keep this process going and keep documenting you know, North American right now manufacturing and just the cool stuff that you could do to get the youth involved. These guys get a, a promotional video from it and everybody wins. And we get to show you guys behind the scenes with the vlog. So every time that we shoot a Make Cool Shit TV episode, you guys will be there watching us do what we do. So if you guys got value out of this and you like this behind the scenes look of making the show or any content that we're doing, hit that like button and share this out to get more younger people involved and to get more Amer American manufacturing companies involved with having us come and document it. If you have questions or comments, leave them in the comments below and we'll see you on the next one. Bitch, I'm flyer than your X-Men I'm flyer than your next man I'm